YouTube. It is Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for staying connected with me. I also want to just give a proclamation of gratitude for all of those who help me on Patreon. I do not allow ads on my videos because I hate when I'm watching a video and there's a bunch of ads. And so um, those who want to support my work can do so by going to patreon.com slash crystal and competent. Don't forget the E in Anne. It's important. But thank you all for helping me, following me, just staying connected with me. You guys all, not just the patrons, but all of you are the reason I do what it is that I do. In today's video, I wanted to give us all a group reading. Now, before I turn the camera on, Spirit selected three cards that I'm gonna be presenting to you. And what I want you to do is to intuitively connect with these cards and see which card resonates with you the most because these cards contain messages and messages that are timely. It doesn't matter when you're actually watching this video. You could be watching it on the very day that I upload it or you can be watching it three years from now. It doesn't matter because God is non-local. God is not fixed to the third dimension. Consciousness is non-local. It exists outside of this dimension and reality. And when spirit wants to get you a message, when you need a message the most, spirit will find a way through time and space and dimensionality to get you this message. So as long as you're connecting and really focusing your attention on these cards, you will be given the answer that you seek. Now here's how we do it. What I do is I hold up three cards consecutively and I don't show you what they are. All I ask that you do, again, is to connect with them and see if you feel anything. Now what I mean when I say see if you feel something is see if anything comes through your receivers. Receivers, it's just another way to say your abilities, your intuition, the various ways that spirit talks to us. Maybe you'll see something which is clairvoyance. Maybe you'll hear something, your inner voice telling you, yes, it's that card. Maybe you'll feel something, just something that resonates within you, a tug or a quickening that says, yes, that's my card. And sometimes we just know, oh, I know card number one's for me or card number two or three is for me. That's claircognizance. That's like a download where one minute we didn't know and the very next second we did know. So however it comes through for you, allow it to come through and trust it. Don't doubt it. And I also want to say that the first impression that you get, the first answer that you get, usually is the right one. So don't talk yourself out of it, especially after I do the reveal, because sometimes we, we pick card number one, but card number three is really awesome and I really want that one. No, stick with the answer that you get because you're getting that answer for a reason. And it's important, okay? Trust your own abilities. I'm telling you, the bane to the intuitive and spiritually connected person and the intuitively connected life is self-doubt. It's thinking that we're not actually hearing spirit. Well, don't you know that if you ask spirit to reveal itself to you, spirit will ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door will be open. And so if you're here asking, spirit will give you that answer. All right, without any further ado, I'm going to show you card number one. Again, I am not showing you what the card is. This is the back of the card. Try to connect with it. Card number one. See if you feel anything. Again, maybe a tug in your body or just a knowing. Card number one. I'm gonna move on now to card number two. Card number two. What do you think about that card? What do you feel about that card? Is there an inner voice inside of you that's speaking to you about this card? Card number two. Last but never least, card. Number three, 
Maybe you see something in your mind's eye. Maybe you see a spirit guide nodding yes. It's card number three. Maybe you see the number three. No matter how you receive it, trust it. Card number three. All right, I'm going to go through these cards very quickly again, and then I'm going to reveal them. I don't like waiting around like a whole day for somebody to reveal something or to drop down into the comments in the description and reveal it. No, I want to know immediately, instant gratification. But before we learn what the messages are, we'll take one more look. Card number one. Card number one. And of course, card number two. And... Last but never least, card number three. All right, I'm about to reveal it, but before I do, what I want you to do is to take an action step. I want you to actually drop down in these comments and tell me what card resonated with you and also tell me how you felt it. How's it coming through? Did you see something? Did you feel something? Did you know something? Did you hear something? However it came through and whatever came through, drop down into the comments and let me know what came through. And I like this because it requires you to just trust the process. Before you even see what the cards are saying, you are in faith declaring what you are given. And that allows you to possess in fullness the energy of the message. And then after I reveal the card, you can say, yes, that resonated with me, or oh, this applies to me, or ah, it doesn't really resonate. Whatever you actually feel after the, re the reveal, you can also make a separate comment. But I just want you now to let me know what came through and how it came through. All right, on to the reveal. For those of you who felt or knew that card number one was for you, the card is... Holy Amethyst. Holy Amethyst. This card represents divine alchemy and asks you to move beyond current challenges and to focus on what you desire. What a beautiful card. I'm trying to see if you can see it. Holy Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Zadkiel, the angel who helps us transmute negative experiences into love and learning. Zadkiel is the keeper of the violet flame, which helps us release anything that is no longer serving us. Does that make any sense to you? Is it time for you to release something that isn't serving you or that's causing an obstruction to your progress? Holy Amethyst also enables us to look over our past fears and challenges and draw wisdom and learning from them. Unlike Zadkiel, for many years, Holy Amethyst was not mentioned in spiritual texts, and I believe this was because her miraculous support wasn't needed on earth as it is right now. To connect deeply with the light of Holy Amethyst, Hold her namesake crystal, which is, of course, the amethyst. There is also an extended message, and I'll share that with you. You are ready now to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you and to make space in your life for something more purposeful. You may feel a real need for clearing out, not just mentally or emotionally, but physically, too. There is a sense that you're moving beyond challenges and forging golden opportunities from stagnant or unhappy experiences. It's important to recognize that you are the magician at this time, with the ability to use your thoughts, your will, and your actions to bring about life-fulfilling and dream-enhancing opportunities. It's important to focus on what you desire and not what you fear. Can I get an amen? It's important to focus on what you desire and not what you fear. Because what you give your energy to will literally begin to flourish. Call on Holy Amethyst to help you focus on golden opportunities. How beautiful is that? What a beautiful message for those of you who resonated with card number one. Now moving to card number two. Ooh, this is a powerful one. For those of you who picked card number two, are you ready? Here we go. Lord Ganesh. 
Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha. Ah, I love Ganesha, Ganesha energy, the clearer of obstacles and also the bringer of abundance and prosperity. This card is the card of infinite abundance and also tells us that at this time, obstacles are being removed and spiritual support and connections are increasing for you, which is good news. Let's go to the book and read the full explanation. Ganesh, also known as Ganapataye, is the Hindu elephant-headed god, the son of Lord Shiva and the goddess Parvati. Ganesh is acknowledged as the Lord who removes obstacles and is much loved by taxi drivers in India because they believe he helps them to weave in and out of crazy traffic. That's an analogy, my friends, for life. Doesn't life feel crazy sometimes? And don't we need help navigating this crazy world? Well, the energy of Ganesh can help us do that. Ganesh is a sweet-toothed, life-loving, joyful, dancing, and very approachable God. He will use his light to weave a perfect path for you. Extended message. Listen up. It's important at this time to move beyond the limitations of it's not meant to be and focus on if this is for my highest good, then the universe will take me there safely. Can I get an amen? Say amen. That puts wings to your affirmation. Ganesh is not only bringing a clear light to your external situation, but he's also helping you clear up inner conflicts. When obstacles arise, know that they're just reminders that you care about your path and that you have the ability to change your current situation. Ganesh is here to help you. Thank Ganesh for clearing the way. To increase your connection to Ganesh, you may want to chant in Sanskrit, Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Ganesh. I love Ganesh, and if I could pan that way... First of all, you'd see a lot of crystals, but you'd also see a couple of statues of Ganesh. I love the energy of that ascended master. Card number two was the Lord Ganesh. Finally, for those of you who selected card number three, let's see what you receive. Your card is the Holy Spirit. Let me try and pan back because it's so bright. The Holy Spirit. This card tells you to expect miracles. How many of you want miracles? I do. (laughs) Yes, expect these miracles. And remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. What a fantastic message about this card. According to the spiritual text, A Course in Miracles, The Holy Spirit meditates between illusion and truth. It's the essence that allows us to move beyond the illusion of fear or the illusions that our fear has created. It's the holiest light of truth and love that we can ever experience, and it's an aspect of our truest self, the self that's never separate from our Creator. When it appears in a reading, prepare for the miraculous. I love that. What a message. The extended message for this card is expect the unexpected. Miracles are coming your way. A real turnaround is possible for you now. Angels are dancing around you. Leave behind thoughts, memories, and feelings that are no longer serving you, and remember the love that you are. That's giving me spirit goosebumps. Remember the love that you are. Move into your heart and allow that love to shine out into the world. That's when miracles can happen. Amen. Let's do another amen. Sunshine, can I get an amen? Amen. The Holy Spirit. To recap, card number one, holy amethyst, divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus instead on what you desire. Card number two, Lord Ganesha, remover of obstacles and bringer of prosperity and abundance. And last but not least, expect some miracles, you all, from the Holy Spirit. Are you wondering about this beautiful deck? I bet you are, because truly it is beautiful. This is from the deck by Kyle Gray called Keepers of the Light. 
oracle cards. Kyle Gray is one of the most sought after experts in his field. He introduces ancient spiritual knowledge in a modern way and regularly teaches workshops and speaks in front of large audiences. And he creates beautiful oracle card decks. This is not the only one he has. I think he just released an oracle card deck on ancestors. So you might want to check it out, but a beautiful deck, very, very powerful and high vibration. There you have it. Which card did you choose? Did it make sense for you? Can you take the message and can you use it in your life? It is my fondest desire and hope that you can. And with that, I will leave you with nothing but love. I got nothing but love for you, baby. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.